Stellar Blade and IGN Meltdown has been absolutely insane. Guys, there's a video that I want to show you. Wait for the climax, wait for the plot twist. And what if I tell you that in the world of ours, believe the science, trust the science. Apparently, dinosaurs are now gay. Dinosaurs are now gay. A UK museum pushes questionable theories that dinosaurs might have been queer, bringing a whole new meaning to T Rex, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Like the video if you think that even dinosaurs also had two genders. Dislike the video if you think they also had like billions and billions Bruh. of genders. But in the world of gaming out there, you remember that chick, right? This arena chick, apparently she came out recently and did say, uh, get ready for the video. I gotta get down to the video as well. But you know that chick that said that, she, and she was really proud of having zero white men in her game. <laughs> Meanwhile, her entire studio is full of white people. Bruh. She comes out now and apparently, uh, Quadring kind of put her on blast, but Quadring always blasts everything, so that there's that, but, but like Quarter Pounder, right? So uh, that happened, but apparently she's like, yeah, we are an early startup, we are fundraising, do you want to invest? And I gotta say no thanks, bro, no no thanks. We, we, yeah, and with that, let's get right into it, like the video if you think there are two genders, just like the video if you think there are billions of genders, but roll this, check this. Model or the in-game character that was scanned after the real life model is being body shamed. And yeah. the game is also being heavily criticized by you know who's crazy people who just don't like attractive characters in video games. But this complaint over the characters and the way that they look, they come Wait from one of the most ridiculous and out of pocket places you yeah. can possibly IGN, think bro. of. Check like... it out right here from Grum. So IGN calls oh, Stellar man. Blade protagonist. Yeah, and this is something that we covered recently. Most people are aware of this, but wait for it is all I gotta say because because there's something else that's coming up. This is just like baby stuff, okay? This is like just a small little piece here. Wait for the entire climax, guys. A sexualized doll and says the creator has never seen a living woman. So the IGN writer who's talking about the game in an article just decides to throw a jab at the creator of the game and make yeah. a baseless assumption out of absolutely nowhere. Grum says the not real doll the creator's wife and, and team, team artist. artist. So guess what? IG was wrong about that. So here's the scan. The body. This is the model. Uh, and, and yeah, like the actual video game character obviously like got makeup on and looks like that, that the model doesn't have makeup on, but it's like the same. Like the, the, the it's basically the same. I, I don't want to be like the ass pert right now. I don't want to be like aspecting everything or inspecting rather my bad. Yeah. I, I got into the zone here, but like it's the same character. They made it from a real body scan of the character. This is this model. is the model. She's a model. South Korea. So they scanned yeah. her for the in-game character that you can see on the right. Okay, she's got accentuated womanly figure. Now, guess who this is? Yeah, this, this is the is... creator's wife. And guess what? That is absolutely crazy, bro. Like, holy crap. IG is just getting flamed by the internet detectives right now. This happens to be uh, his wife, right? And she is also an artist that is working. So basically, a woman is now working on a woman character in game. A woman is working on a woman character in a game that is made for gamers and you know a woman is on the, 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 the front lines and they hate it. They absolutely hate it. Uh, like, and uh, uh, these psychics want women to be getting her rep their representation, but it's like they don't want to see actual women get their representation. Like, bruh, like, bruh, bruh, bruh. I mean, bruh. bruh. But she's also an artist on the game. So IGN Wait is wrong. <laughs> Big surprise. There are so Wrong. many funny comments on this. Dan Vash says IGN is, is gay. gay. <laughs> At least IGN is consistent and criticizes all sexuality and gaming oh, right now, except they forgot <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I guess they decided not to criticize that one as well. Yeah, much. like it's fine, right? Like it's fine. Okay, B BBC bundles and color. Apparently, you. Yeah, BBC bundles are completely fine, right? But we cannot get. But it's like they have a problem whenever we have a character, a straight female character. That they don't want that. Bro, not every character needs to be gay, bro. Okay, yeah, all right, you know. One or two character here and there. Yeah, fine. Okay, everybody get their representation. Strong, empowering, fearless. Empowering, strong, 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 strong. Independent, independent, independent. Yeah, I get that. But like, bruh, like not every game needs that, bro. Come on now, bruh. And the, the walk, the walk left is completely panicking. And they're having a meltdown. Down. How dare you guys get a straight female character? How dare you need to make her gay? She needs to be. It's like, bro, we're seeing it happen in front of our eyes. Like, they want men to be more 
feminine and they want females to be more masculine and i feel like i, I understand what's happening i think i found figured it out because a lot of the uh, the women here in north america i'm in canada so no disrespect here it, 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 it'd, be, it'd be what it'd be man most of the females are getting delusional here uh, after all they are being brainwashed by the all the woke woke left agenda and it's like they, they are becoming more strong, independent. Not in a good way. We all have strong, independent female characters. But it's like, we want females to be females. We don't want females to be males, though. And we don't want males to be females, though. But this is, this is what they want. A lot of the females here in the West are uh, turning out to be a lot more manly. They they are being given a lot more testosterone. Yeah, females here got a lot of testosterone, bro. Much. And this person says a pic of Ben Asola, the author of the article, Seems much more likely he has never seen a living woman. <laughs> I think it'd be hard to see a woman when you have those things over your eyes. Absolutely. Is this seriously the guy who wrote it? This is so interesting. It says laughable IGN revises history, pretends SJWs never yeah. trashed baby. It looks like that, that the guy only have seen uh, women that have high testosterone. Neta, or yeah. near automata for being over sexualized just so they can go after stellar blades eve with the racist trope of calling asian women over sexualized yeah. dolls so misogyny that's the real misogyny that's the real toxic masculinity that calling them uh, these type of dolls which I, I cannot say that word on youtube i believe he said it so there's that like but, but, but like you know what you feel what i'm saying this writer this dude who posts silly pictures of himself online is making accusations about the creator saying that that dude has basically never been with a woman like what kind of crazy thing is that to say even as a journalist i mean are these even articles that they're writing anymore or are they just personal twitter posts because that's what this seems like this is not a professionally written article it says it's not new and Wait other games it. have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters but where a bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design or a 2b from near automata it inspires an entire generation of cosplayers eve from stellar blade is just bland a yeah, doll bland. sexualized <laughs> by someone who has never seen yeah. a woman There's and then the internet detectives went crazy and they figured it out that Br brother has a wife and not just a wife she's smoking hot looks like and she looks like a actual woman so he has a wife and her wife is apparently an artist and she is working on his game so brother and sister uh, uh, happens to be his wife right so uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, this couple is working on this game and guess what happens people love it people are loving it and guess what happens right after people are given five star reviews four star reviews right and this is here's the thing right this game is gonna sell like crazy now obviously if the game turns out to be bad objectively i'm not talking about like the wool crap or the non wool crap i feel like that even then now the game is gonna sell because people have it people had it enough right like obviously they're trying to push agendas left and right every game is getting all of this crap in it people had enough everybody's talking about all of this crap because people had enough right this is exactly what we're seeing everywhere microsoft comes out and they are telling their devs hey do not make curvy female characters we got fable out here we all saw the abomination of a character it's not even a female it's a biological male and they're calling uh him that it's a it's a her and it's a it's a female so we're seeing this happen across all the industry like this uh, crap has ruined hollywood and now it's creeping up in games as well uh, and uh, people had enough now if it turns out that the game is bad it's still gonna do numbers but if the game turns out amazing like i'm talking about the actual gameplay and the story and the progression and uh, and people enjoy the game because right now people have played the demo and the people are loving it uh and, and that's good to see but if it turns out the game is actually good bro this is gonna pour gasoline on the fire all of this uh, controversy ign meltdown the woke left meltdown people being mad like how dare they make an actual woman in the game right all of this meltdown is what it's gonna do it's gonna make people buy more and guess what like i wasn't looking to buy this game not because i don't like it or i hate it it's just that i like i like the look of it but it's like not for me kind of i ain't gay though but like you, you feel what i'm saying like i, I it, it's just that like I, i'm 20 it's 27 all, almost 28 so i don't need to like you you feel what i'm saying like i only play one or two games here and there that i i like and that's it okay i barely get time but even now i like i'm like sitting back i'm considering buying the game because like uh, uh there's a whole lot of meltdown it, 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 and i'm trying out the game and i'm kind of liking it as well so they got me they got my foot in the door you feel what i'm saying i got to try out the game and i'm liking the game and i need to buy the game this is uh, the stage where i'm at right now what about you guys you getting it you're not getting it 
probably the biggest I, I will only say buy the game if you genuinely like it i know there will be a lot of you that would buy the game regardless because like you want to support a, a true gamer that's making the game understandable totally fair by me i respect that decision i understand where you're coming from and i would say the same for hell divers and all the other games that have said no to all the woke bullcrap but check this fail of the week so far by a writer because that is exactly what is happening here they're trying to cover up history with bayonetta and near automata their criticisms of those games this is the same ign who just the other day wrote that you can't have a remake of resident evil 5 because we can't shoot african zombies <laughs> black zombies no we can't do that these people are special drums has another interesting post related what? to this and it's hilarious because it paints a very vivid picture of a world in which people do not like attractive women and then another world where people are normal and follow their natural traits this is from super ninja saw this reposted by my ninja and was curious if doa the fighting game came <laughs> out brother. with costumes like this from the start how would you feel about buying the game not even original outfits included of characters just stuff like this or should it be tamer now you have xbox on one end of the spectrum saying that they can't make females attractive yeah. anymore i mean i.e fable you seen that game or any of its Damn, gameplay man. one of the worst that that is like insane the fact that microsoft said now a lot of people are also going hard at phil spencer and, and listen i don't know nobody knows if that's like phil spencer decision or not but right now we're gonna assume the best and assume that phil spencer does not want it or want it, it it's it's I, I feel like i'm neutral with phil spencer here because we clearly do not know whether he's for this crap or against this crap it, the orders came from microsoft yeah like he, he's on top but he's still not on the top on the top on the top uh, of microsoft he's probably on the top of xbox but not on top of microsoft so we're not sure who actually gave the orders i i would be shocked if it actually if it truly came from phil spencer but a lot of people are calling out phil spencer understandably i get I, I get it why people are doing it and why ga gamers are doing it is because phil spencer is the face of xbox i totally understand that but truly we do not know where the orders came from but regardless it is truly wild to me that microsoft is like failing miserably with xbox not necessarily with game pass game pass is their strong uh point and you know what game pass is a very good model for gamers in, in a way because you spend like 20 dollars not so much for devs though but like for games for gamers like you spend like 20 dollars 25 dollars give or take right per month depends on where you at as well with the currency exchange taxes and all inflation and all that weird stuff but you spend that much money for a month and you can play hundreds of games it's a good model i do like it i do like it and i'm saying that as somebody who doesn't own it uh, I, I don't have xbox i don't have game pass but if i had game uh, if i had get xbox uh the, that that would be the first thing that i would buy uh and it's a very good model so that's the plus one with xbox but other than that dog like y'all suckers are failing miserably and, and now you're doing crap like that where you're like nah bro no for uh, no curvy female characters just make a just make woman woman again you know just make good games uh, without the woke ideologies without normal politics as well people want to escape people just want to play people want to chill people just want to play games what i'm trying to say here is that it's like come on I, I know this is very complicated what i'm trying to say here is that just make games just make good games let gamers make games when I, what i mean by this is not like literal gamers but like devs that are actually gamers that are passionate you know f all with the dei i i'm all up for inclusivity diversity but force diversity get the f all with that bro like force diversity force inclusivity is not doing anything anybody good right now it's not doing games justice it's not doing anybody good force representation what it does is pushes people away rather than making them come together as one okay if your narrative is that hey we want to make sure like people from all walks of life come together this is not the way you do it because the more you try to shove your trash down other people's throat they're gonna be like e -e, i, I want to move away you know they will go back the more you try to come forward they will go back it's like you, you don't do that if you want people to come together you just want to make a genuine game and have a little bit of inclusivity that that feels real 
You know what I'm saying? It's like one of those things. It's like some bad happens. Yeah, we're gonna wave the BLM flag. The next minute, we're not gonna. June comes around, we're gonna wave the the the, the gay flag, and then it's like, now nah, we're not gonna wave it in the Middle East. We're not gonna because you know what? If we do there, you cannot do that there, right? Understandably, because if you do that there, they're gonna pull out. They're gonna lose money, and it's all about money. So these sick is wanna only pander to people, and they 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 know the room temperature, right? Because in the West, they're gonna do it. And yeah, they're gonna get ESG score, they're gonna get the ESG money, and they're gonna profit. Had it been they were not profiting, you really think they're gonna do that? Absolutely not. These suckers don't care, dog. They really don't care. So, and, and, and it's good that gamers are now finally realizing this and finally are waking up, which is absolutely good uh, to see. Looking female characters in existence. And then you have Sony, PlayStation, Shift Up, and those game companies who are actually trying to make video games that are appealing to people, not just visually, but gameplay wise. I hear that the gameplay is great. I've been well, watching yeah. gameplay all day. Uh, minus Last of Us, Spider Man 2, absolutely. Spider Man 2 is a decent game if you minus the woke bullcrap and the MJ Strong Independent as well. And all this community manager is doing is comparing outfits from Stellar Blade to DOA, just talking that gamer talk. Not being a crazy person, trying Gun to humor. ruin in a video game studio trying to accuse all gamers of being white and male yeah. for some reason as if that relates somehow to the situation but it's if you thought crazy, that it bro. ended there it does not end there because not. even if team ninja community managers are out there just being normal people as opposed to the compulsion games community managers who reset think that era. asians are white adjacent we also have reset era who is having a meltdown over stellar blade oh these are some interesting photos from grums Bruh. always on point my man i live alone and i'd still be embarrassed to have this on my tv <laughs> that intro sequence is so effing bad. It's just so many elements of fetishistic infantile nonsense. What the H with that slow motion? It's sad. I guess that's what it comes down to. Oh, There's man. really talented people working really hard to make a game that glorifies a flagrantly misogynistic depiction of its yeah, past. Misogyny. It's just sad. Once again, um, the model and the video game character are really not that far apart at all. Maybe some widening of the hips? I, I would say like making female characters that are more like men, that's like a lot more misogynistic, a lot more sexist, and a lot more disrespectful to the actual woman why not have a strong really strong and good female character without the woke bull crap in it suck is love it laura crap prime example you know what i'm saying like people love it like it's not that suckers are gamers gamers the toxic gamers it's not that the gamers are against a female character or a game whose ca whose main character is a female nah it's not about that it's just that y'all suck is want to just inject woke politics left and right y'all want to y'all want to make men look bad y'all want to make gamers look bad and now it's like white people bad this and that force inclusivity force diversity dei you know what no more curvy female character what the hell is going on in gaming bruh like, literally, what the hell is going on? And what the hell is going on in the world? Dinosaurs, poor dinosaurs, they went extinct a long time ago, right? Maybe because of this stuff? Maybe, 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 yeah. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe you guys are right. That's really it. Well, let's check out another one. I am not participating much in this thread, but I am reading it, but I had to write re Stellar Blade. I haven't been disgusted at a game in a good while. This is bad, especially given the developers themselves and the gender war in South Korea. It is just aggravating. And then this person said, agreed, I tend to be ambivalent with sexualized character designs in games, but everything about Stellar Blade is just beyond embarrassing and gross. Like, what about it? It has Souls-like combat, an attractive female character as the main okay. playable character, and also a cast of female characters as well as male characters. It's not just women in this game. There's sick monsters that they fight against too, like some pretty unique designs. This person and says, kind of hate how it's Sony funded and published. I feel like it wouldn't be getting anywhere nearly as much media attention as it is if it wasn't. Eve is an over-sexualized yeah. character. It's just so funny because they're dunking on themselves simply due to the fact that Eve's actress looks very much like the video game character. So Man. they're basically body shaming this woman. They don't yeah, even understand who the creator is, who the creator's artists and peers are. They have no idea who the person playing Eve and Stellar Blade looks like. It's insane. <laughs> that, that is toxic masculinity. This is toxic masculinity because no actual men would want would, would say crap like that we see attractive woman we, we like yeah damn son we appreciate we see beauty we appreciate simple as that brother simple as that but these seconds don't want to do that these seconds don't want to this is toxic masculinity this is misogyny this is being sexist this is this is being heterophobic as well because these things always want to play Bruh. phobic phobic so yeah i'm gonna start playing phobic phobic too this is the language they they uh, they all they understand
they're just running with baseless assumptions, writing it in articles and trying to spread it to the That's masses so to man. discourage people from buying this game. What's number three? Probably due to wanting to be closer to a developer who has a very successful GAAS under their belt. I think we are going to see Sony prioritize how to make money with certain titles. I won't be surprised if Shift Up and Sony don't do more collabs. Heck, when Sony partnered up for Stellar Blade, the CEO of Shift Up bought everyone there a PS5. And that's true. I just saw a picture of that. They bought everybody in their office a PS5 so that they could enjoy the game, not just make it. That's so cool. But they don't know how to be cool. These people who are complaining about this game and complaining about the studio, including people at IGN, a gaming news website, they don't know how to be cool. And that's why IGN hasn't been cool for many years now. While Stellar Blade's Shift Up company are doing amazing things, this person said, I want to believe that Sony was fulfilling a contract that they won't work with Shift Up again after it came out that they were a misogynistic developer who punished women working for them. <laughs> Supporting women's rights. What did they get? So he's actually saying that they were misogynists. My guy, you don't want, you not wanting good female, actual strong independent, re real female characters representation. That's misogyny right there, bruh. But guys, click on Down this video on the screen. We recently just happened this insane. Uh, check it out, man. This is what Xbox said. This is what Microsoft said. You're not gonna believe it. Click on this video on the screen and I'll see you right there.